to the lab. Come in, come in, come in, make yourself comfortable. So, the first record on this EP, the Homecoming, is called Bulbo Kemone. Uh, initially, I found this guitar loop and I was, you know, messing around on Splice and um, I found this and I. I really like the kind of the feeling for this. <laughs> the funny thing is, is like whether it's me, Lion, Mumsy, or whoever. Sometimes we kind of find one guitar loop or guitar sample, and we just write the whole song to it. In the background, I was just humming the melody like. I actually recorded the vocals to only this uh, guitar sample because I thought to myself, let me get the song written, let me record the song, then I will work on the beat after. So. I ended up having something like this. I remember the days when we were young and so in love. Yeah. And I remember the days I called you my number one. Yeah. So once I had that kind of in place and structure of the song, I, I already knew where I was going with this. It was the beginning of lockdown as well, so I was feeling super creative. And, you know, I was in the studio, my mind was fresh. The next thing that was added onto this were these um, percussion. These like the kind of hi hats and, and and percussion claps, but they were bounced as one sample. But what I did is I separated them and kind of uh, rearranged them in a, in a certain way. So it was like, so the next bit that I knew I needed to add to this and build this record was uh, a pluck sound. So obviously you hear it a lot in a lot of pop records. You know, like these warm synth pluck sounds. So the ideas that I basically had for these chords were quite simple, it was something like... And I just chucked in like a really, you know, like a really deep subby kick. So once the kind of main framework of the record was done, I knew it was just a case of dressing it up with you know, the correct percussion and the correct kind of added supplements to it. So, so this was the main pluck arrangement. But when it came to like the chorus, I laid it with a different pluck as well. So it was... So it's a bit more of like that toy piano vibe. And when it came later on in the chorus, like the second bit, it was like... I had to add the bells in the background as well to kind of give it that airy, spacey feel. As for dressing up the percussion, if I play, if I solo the drums. But then I knew that when it comes to the chorus, I need to kind of dress it up a little bit better. I added these like moving percussion sounds, which I felt like gave the record a little bit more of that kind of going somewhere feel. So like. So if I play all that together, it should sound something like this. I knew there was one thing, one thing that was missing from the record to kind of finish it off and that was that vocal sample. Before I pitched it, it was this. So that was the original sound. Now if I play it with all the effects on. And I felt that kind of finished off the record because it kind of had everything to it. So if I now go back to playing the whole instrumental bit, I just kind of knew it was like So that was the instrumental as for vocals and vocal harmony so obviously I already had the vocals from the beginning because I already wrote the song but I knew that this kind of record needed something that was like you know something out of the ordinary something a bit more emotional that people feel because of how deep the lyrics are originally the chorus sounds like this without any harmonies and if I add now the harmonies on it Pass my eye, yeah. Bulbo came 